Welcome to the Royal Institute of British Architects. My name is Liz. Um, so we're all here today for a little body building, which is kind of a funny name, isn't it? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use our bodies to learn how buildings stand up. Now, if gravity pulls us down, what holds us up? What's in our bodies that keeps us nice and straight? Bones, yes, we have a skeleton and that holds us up. Yeah. Buildings also have skeletons. That's right, absolutely. Um, if you look at our pictures that we have on the side here, you'll see that buildings also have skeletons and they're called frames. And they're made out of different material, but they have to be really strong material. Does anyone recognize that? Ooh, hand went up right away. It's a column. Good. Where do you see things like this? Um, at museums. Museums. Yep. Museums tend to have them, right? Absolutely. Rome. Rome. Good. Yep. Okay. What we're going to do, though, first is we're going to make a column. One, two, three. Good. Now you're a column. Standing there, columns are very strong and they can support a lot of weight. So what I'm going to ask you to do is reach your hands out, grab onto the person next to you. So what we've created is called a lintel. The lintel acts as a support system for a wall. Do you know what else happens when you create a lintel? Create an opening. And we can go in and out. It's like a door. When we have a row of columns, someone said you see columns at museums, right? That's the British Museum. You do see them there. That's called a colonnade. The next thing we want to look at is called an arch. So I want you to face each other. Just lean into your partner's hands. Okay, this is a different type of opening. This is called an arch. Through this long line of arches, what we've made is a vault. That makes a nice big open space, nice and sturdy. You can build lots of things on top of that. We need everyone to stand in a circle. It's going to reach across, and you're going to grab the hands of someone across from you. And you can very, very gently lean backwards. Exactly. It is. It's the thing on top of St. Paul's. It's a dome. <laughs> you see buttresses on, on lots of older buildings, like churches and cathedrals. I want you to put your hands on Annie's shoulders. Can you do that? And then you can step nice and far away so that Annie can't move anymore. We've created a buttress. And that's what holds us up. I think you probably recognize some of those buildings, do you? The yes. Gherkin. St. Paul's. Yep, St. Paul's, good, yep. The Baxter House Station. Good, London yeah. Eye. And the London Eye's up there. Do you recognize any of the shapes that we made? Yes. We are. We've got, those, yeah, we've got a dome there, good, a bit of an arch there. What do we have on top of Battersea Power Station? Is it the column? Yeah, it looks like a column, doesn't it? And we need columns and lintels to make all those windows. So we see lots of these shapes and how they come together and make buildings. Now, this is where I'm going to ask you guys to make a few buildings for me. What I want you to do is use your own bodies to make a shape, and then you're going to put that shape on the piece of paper. See, this one was made for my feet. This one was made from some arms. So you're going to use, think about a different shape that you want to make and you'll lie down on the, on the paper. And then I think some of our architects behind us will help you draw an outline of yourself on the skyline. And then when you stand up, you'll have a nice shadow on the piece of paper and that will add to our skyline. Does that, does that sound good? Okay, get drawing. Go ahead, you got to think of a body shape and put it down on the piece of paper. Intense studio design session and give yourselves a round of applause because you did an excellent job. 